Bonjour! Allow boarding to start and get the train ready for departure. You are running non stop to Strasbourg, and apart from the rain, which isn't happening anymore, and everything else is running smoothly without any money delays on the S bound lines. Hello, there, everyone, welcome. My name is Emily, also known as Northern Princess. My French accent is really great, I know. We're going to set the cab up, ready to depart and, and go places, so reverse it. Forward. Um, let me check by the controls in here. Just a thought on them. No. Still not a thing. Right. Uh, well, sprint lights. There you go. Oh god, that looks horrid. Um, <laughs> welcome to 2022! Um, let's see, what else do I need to do? Nothing really. That's just a piece of the acknowledge. So, sorry, I'm just talking to myself out loud. So, shift six. We get an OZB error because LOL! Shift 7, see if it is activated. Get PZB error. Huh. Oh, LZB's worked finally, that's good. So that's the first time I actually managed to enable LZB. Let's start this run. I'm gonna push my luck. Nope. And um Okay, so because these are bees and I can't do anything else, that's fine. So quick check, doors now already closed. So there we go, there go the doors. Headlights on, reverse it forward. Brake release. We'll take power. And away we, we roll. So our start speed today is 60 km, 65 correction kilometers per hour. However, I'm just going to ease up to speed because we've got this. Correction at 60 kilometers now. I can't English today. So we're going to get the train up to 60 and then coast. So as we don't have speed set today, I am going to be extra careful when I'm driving. So, quick cab tour of the uh, TGV duplex. Hello, this is the exterior. Uh, left or right, you've got emergency brake, independent brake, train brake. You've got two combined power levers, reverses up there. That's actually a mode controller, but that's not simulated. Because of lol. Um, you've got uh, main HUD, HUD screens, which... That goes invisible. Wow, I love I love to tell at the moment. Um, yeah, so speedometer, that be your LZB indications when when we got an LZB trackage, which 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 we do in approximately forty kilometers. Um, what else have we got? C quick show the cab uh, power brake indicator, obviously, and we can go up to one thirty. As you can hear the CIFA system kicking in there. CIFA is your standard uh, DSD style system. PZB is the more intricate safety system. You have our little ice colleague, icy colleague a wave as we cruise past them. Up at 1.30 and coast. So this train's come down from Munich and it's on its way to, to Paris Ost, I believe. Yep, Paris East. Um, and what I say, we're running as far as Strasbourg, which is a nice sort of 100, well, 80k run. Which is, it's a nice day out on the trains. Um, 160 speed passing, so really want to wait until probably the second mile post, and then accelerate to 160. That's one thing to bear in mind with this train, is it's incredibly easy to overspeed. I'm going to go for 160 now. And we're hanging out here for a while, put it that way. And off, a um, bit of brake on. Unfortunately, I've got the screen on behind my notepad and I can barely read what's on the notepad. I have to get a reading light.
So I hope you guys are doing wonderfully. Um, I've had a bit of a strange couple of weeks. I think I mentioned, I've mentioned most of it so far, but uh, you know what? I recorded my first look on the. Um, you know what? I can't even remember the name of that game. Uh, what's it called again? The Independent Train Simulator is basically what I'm going to be calling it because uh, I, I can never remember its name. Um, I was playing that this morning, and I've already forgot what I discussed in that video. The Simrail. That's the name, but it's Sim Rail. So that's going out on Monday. And then you guys are going to see this four weeks after I've recorded that. Lol. You never got recording some more DCS tonight. A 69.4. Uh, yeah, so. We've now got until 81.2 when we need to be at 120 so it's, it's it's a bit of a slow cruise at the start of this video uh, but anyway as I was continuing the capture PZB symbology uh, none of this is clickable fortunately um, none of that's clickable reverse error again uh, throttle horn it's one thing I'm actually going to quickly mention before I get too triggered by it. In the manual, that's actually a bell. Oh God, I just think I got, I got hit by an emergency C for that, didn't I? So, brake on, power on. Uh, LZB, standard. That is PZB acknowledge. Uh, Planet graph selection, which I'm not touching. My emergency brake light flashes. Which would indicate a train in distress. Except my headlights are dimmed, so I'm not blinding the drivers. Um, you've got your voltage control. Uh, I believe that is. TM uh, sorry, that'll be a Bula, which isn't simulated. Emergency pan down switch. Um, light windows. Pretty basic cab, really. Um, Unfortunately, even from modern design, you can't look at the back wall in this cab. It is forbidden. Das is forbidden. That is the KVB controls. Unfortunately, not simulated. Uh, I believe that's GSMR, but all four colours on it. Um, yeah. Um, you got some more switches down here. Climate control, I believe. Cab light, which is a bit weird. Uh, that'll be your desk lights. Climate control, sabotage, uh, no idea what that is. More controls, then it can't speak to the guard. Yeah. I need to record some British route learning. I'm just looking at my upcoming videos and it's all stuff outside the UK and that, that doesn't get views on my channel unfortunately. Like I like recording it but it just doesn't get views. Um, you know. But then you get weird stuff like I did um, the Go Transit on Oakville and that got 42 views. But then you know, um, for example, yes anything on the, on, on, in the Britain just tends to get more views. Unless it's the key to Worth Valley Railway. It was quite a nice little run out. I enjoyed that recording that one, so that, that makes a difference. I'm also installing Streamlabs on my laptop. So I, I managed to swap myself out a laptop for work purposes, really, because with my new job, I'm going to be away two nights a week, and I'd quite like to be able to sort of stream and record and chat with my mates when I'm away. So I'm getting a couple of bits and bobs installed. Drink quietly, I'm sorry. Um, oh, I've got two of those videos I could push out, that'd be nice. HSD scam is one of them. <laughs> I recorded them back on my birthday, I've not released them yet for some reason. Do 
be honest, it's been a bit of a weird couple of weeks. Um, actually, I don't think I have mentioned this in a one, a one video on this channel. So, my dad actually passed away. Well, back at the end of, I can't remember. The, I, I can figure the date out, but I can't remember it offhand. Twenty first, I believe, in September. What? The hell? Okay, I got caught back by something. Yeah, that'll be the 120. Oh well. But interestingly though, I'm bust bursting straight through it. 110 warning. Oh well. I totally missed that, if I'm honest. There you go. 81.8. I'm pleased to hear that at 102 is why the 250 kicks in. This is actually one of the the, the, the one quote unquote new. So I'll probably have new items in the cab, but this is a BR186 in SNCF fret livery. Fret. Is this reskinned? Don't think so. Siggers. It's just blue. Doesn't actually have any logos on it. Blue. That's ooh. You can see they've got one because they own that brand, but yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, there we go. Break off. Start speed 120. See, the thing is, there's no actual instructions with this. So yeah, this was a one of my bug bags with this manual. Is there's no actual instructions on how to do stuff. It's this is what these buttons do, but it doesn't sort of tell you when to use them effectively, which I wish it did. We're going up to 45 and then coast. Driving the duplex, yeah. So driving the duplex is this is what's in the cab. This is what the buttons are in the cab. You know, like KVB, I'd love an actual manual on how to how to use it properly. Um, um, yeah. There's literally nothing, which is really frustrating, if I'm honest. Um, Oh, it's controls, that's fine. Um, yeah. Also, it mentions CIFA, and I know this has cruise control. Oh, look at that. It has worked. That is really good, actually. So I'm going to just set that at 45. So we've got that cleared now. So I'm going to go up to a line speed of 110. Oh god, not that fast. See, that's really weird. I wish, you know, there was, you get the pop-ups for everything else. I just think it's, it's not well designed, put it that way. Right, so we've gone on through a 110, we've got 160 at the 97k post. We are at the 97k post, so I'm going to keep an eye for 160. Would have gone past it and I've missed it. Marseille to Avignon, bon voyage! Even though I've owned. Um, right, up to 160 we go. That actually makes my day substantially easier. Also, if I, if I put my. God, this is bad. This is bad, boys. Like, I'm pretty pro DTG. This is bad. Um, no two ways about it, lads. Right, you're starting up. Twitch. I'm going to start streaming to Northern... Actually, I need to start streaming to Northern Princess again, don't I? So I feel like, yeah, on this on that laptop I'll be doing Northern Princess because I'll be doing, so yeah, I'm not going to put Fly with Siren on it. The Fly with Siren's my, so for those of you who don't know, I have a second channel called Fly with Siren. Um, actually, sorry, I've been getting really, I got really distracted. Circling back, uh, I was talking about my dad passing away. Um, yeah, 
and I've basically the reason I've been a bit out of the things is I've just started a new job where you know it's not impossible responsibilities but I'm certainly learning a lot as I go along um, you know whereas oh look it's from building a highway um, sorry you know, I'm t certainly, you know, learning and all that kind of stuff. I don't be missing time out of work. But for those of you who don't know, I'm half Czech. I think I must be the other one who's supposed to yeah. So it basically it's me planning a funeral for my dad. Um, now, I'm 24. And I don't like using that as an excuse because, you know, I, I totally believe there are, well, I know. So I know, I totally believe I know. There are people out there who had a plan at a much, doing sort of this stuff at a much younger age. But... It that doesn't make it any harder, less hard for me, correction. As I beat. No. No. Right, what? There's LZB. Good lad. So we got up to 250 kmh, sorry. Um, but yeah, and it's just. It's just kind of tough, you know. One of those things um, and I've been trying to focus on work because at the end of the day YouTube doesn't pay me work does and I sort of like being paid you know I'm I'm, I'm a very I'm a very capitalist I guess you know I, I like getting paid at the end of the month but yeah you Um, so, sorry, I got distracted by looking at my other screen there. Um, but yeah, it's just it's been a bit tough, and I say recording, it's just not really been what you know high on my list of priorities. But and to be honest, because my new job is on the railways, I, you know, if if I've spent my day learning about train doors, I don't want to be sitting at home looking at train doors. Um, I, I'll give you a bit of a tidbit. So I've just done my PTS training, which is personal track safety in the UK. So basically it's what you need to work on the railway so you can get off a train if you need to onto the track. Um, so like the industry sort of spec of, um, uh, you know, of safety training. Um, anyway, uh, I, I get on to do this. Uh, so I get off to do this and I was on Trains and World, Trains and World 2, and I get out of my F40 to take a screenshot. And... I made sure I walked the required distance in front of the train and looked up to see if there was anyone in the driver's cab and checked to see if there was another train coming. I've never done that before. I normally just run straight across. It's, yeah. But I, and I made sure I wasn't, well, I was trying to rest not stand on the sleepers, you know, so it's a bit crazy in that sense. There's a fret. I'm fretting about him, but I'm. Please, it bees and then disable itself basically. Um, I'm fairly sure we, we run PZB all the way into uh, Strasbourg. No, the signals change actually just before Strasbourg, but oh well. Hmm, pardon me. You can see the Alps. There's the Alps side of that window. And. Bavaria probably out of that window. So we've got about 15k to go, but we're doing 250, which is 155, I think, miles an hour, roughly. Was that right? 155, yep, well, close enough. Okay, it's 155.3. I was putting three of a mile an hour out. That's pretty impressive to me. At a, you know, cause at, at a rough mental calculation. It's got the road on the signal. You can see, it's basically say, it's saying, I can see four kilometers ahead. Four kilometers ahead, it's a clear run. Um, yeah.
120. Uh, we drop off at yeah, 136 to go to 100k limit, which means we need to stand on the brakes for that. That's an icy, icy boy. I mean, running on else had beelines is fun. I find it quite relaxing almost. You just, you just sit there, watch the, and just watch the scenery go by. You know, AFB and LZB just controls itself. We're at 12k, which it. So, so. 120k would be half an hour, so it'd be three minutes until I turn off, roughly. So the way the way I calculated that was two, we're doing 250. We do 120 in roughly half an hour. Um, you know, roughly rough numbers here. 12k is half an hour, or is a tenth of half an hour, which is which is three minutes. A little under, but you know. By the time we the braking action stuff, it'll be three minutes. I do love the LZB cables. I wonder if you can actually like reasonably survey them at this speed. You know, like a spot any brakes. I'm wondering please be uh, LZB acknowledge. Okay. Gonna start ticking down on this soon. If it doesn't, at three, one, three, six. So at one, three, two, I'll actually know at one thirty. I'm gonna just put my brake down and let it right slow itself because it's a big jump and I don't trust this thing brakes yet. One hundred percent. So there's one, two, nine. Actually no, I'm doing it three miles. Three miles to drop. <sighs> no, it'll it can do it at one three two probably four k. It's two miles to drop that speed. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, I love the time it's taken me to make. The thing is, that's the thing about high speed trains. The time it took me to make that decision, we covered a kilometer. That's a B ending. So I'm going to set my. Put a hundred in the window. It'll start giving me a break. Yeah, as you can see I'm, I'm training slightly below the break, break, break thing, but that's fine. That just means I'm going to be in a good place to hit the end at a hundred. You know, my judgment wasn't too bad on that front, I guess. Um. Yeah, definitely. I'd have stopped that 2k sooner. That would have been way too soon. Um, yeah, and after that, it picks back up again a bit. So, yeah. End day. Machine's acknowledging. As soon as I leave the route, I'll disable. LZB and I'll disable PZB as well eventually once we lose PZB magnets. It's quite cool that you've you got effectively PZB and LZB on the same track here. Judged. That's our turn off. And we're at 100. So you can put now you see. That's 100 there. We'll, we'll give it that. And here we go. So you can see, just to give you an idea where we are in the world, up here is Karlsruhe. We've now come down to this turn off here. And we're heading towards French territory. Up on that screen. Yeah, just keep it being one of the 
top. See, it feels like I can't actually set a hundred there. By logic, I should be able to. If it goes to one hundred one, I'll drop it back. Zero one. So yeah, that's probably the end of German territory. On the signaling, we'll check the next signal, see what it looks like. I know 1.2, so we'll actually go back on German German roads. Oh well. We'll get rid of you soon, Sifa. It's a rough idea. We've got 20k to go to Strasbourg. Distance of Strasbourg to the, to the border is. Oh, it's literally as we go over, over the river. Fair enough. The Rhine is the border here. Right, I'm going to go up to 140 now. That's 140. Um, interesting that it, it killed my thrill. Thirty, one thirty-five, one forty. Boomsk. So yeah, we're moving finally home towards French territory with our lovely little duplex here. Um, yeah, I do enjoy driving the French trains as much as it pains me to say it. Um, there's also a um. And, uh, well, there's a, there's a 373 coming for Brain Sim, and as soon as that releases, I'm definitely going to do some White Rose stuff with it on the um, new, on the um, Peterborough York route. See, there's still, it's, you know, it's, it's, uh, 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 one of the things I find quite fun is seeing the difference around you on the railway. So, um, local architectural influences, I guess, I just find them really interesting. So, uh, if you compare that to northern Germany, that looks less German to me. I don't know if that's just, you know, it's sort of less German, closer to British almost. Um... I recognise some of the assets from British Roots actually. That big one in the back, I recognise that from British Roots. Um, oh no, that's German stuff actually still. Was that American? Uh, I don't know. But yeah, basically like looking at the differences in like how the, you know, the trees and... Actually that looks very German over there. But this sort of looks more Western Europe in general, so you've got the Netherlands, which has a very similar vibe. Yeah. 140, we'll continue at this pace. 1.5, I've got 100, so I've got 4k to my 100 limit. That's when you need to drop it back down. So I'm going to drop it down and again. Well, what I'm dropping. Okay, that wasn't on the notes. I remember it now as well. That's really upsetting. Um. Shame the blind doesn't work either. It's a fairly, you know, this this model. I know this has changed. This doesn't. This reminds me. This this, this just looks different to the one I remember. So I've driven Leon to Marseille, I think. Before. I should do, I should do that actually. Because I know I remember 
lovely on to Avignon didn't work, so I need to re-record that one. And I can stick some of these 186s in it, which would be nice. That'll take me some time, but yeah. Got no magnet there, but you know what? I'm one of those people, insecure, not sure what for. Yeah. This is a good time to drop down speed. Do me like that. Game. I didn't even see a magnet there for me to miss. Oh well. Hello, 186. Yes, I had another emergency stop. I don't care at this point. You can deal with it, guys. I, tr I believe in you. So it's the town of Kel, pretty much passing that. I can kill my stuff, which is the next. That's Kel there, so. Castazione. Speed of 100. Take. Now, I don't know if this is a, a system change you would do on the fly. I assume you would. But, yeah. Also, how does TVM work in this? Because I know... Shut up. Right, so, as soon as I, hit, um, I enter the bridge over the river, I'm going to kill my safety systems and restart them, basically. Um, which I feel amazing. Right, I've got my it's that there. I need these controls handy. And this is Kel we're approaching now. After Kel, the, uh, the only safety system I'm moving on is AFB, because that's not really a safety system at this point. That's just a driver's aid. Twenty limit hit coming up after Cal. Um, there it is, five o'clock. This is the last PZB magnets before the end of German territory. There we go. It's pretty much going to be as we go for this bridge, isn't it? The one twenties. So what I'll do is enter the bridge. Shift six. No. Game, you're a prick. I d oh, you're a bastard game. You are a bastard game. You are a bastard game. Look how amazing this train looks when it comes to an emergency stop. So, shift six. Shift seven. Shift eight. Shift enter. Okay, it's K KVB I've enabled there. And that's all I need. Confirm KVB's control numpad enter. What the hell? K hang on. KVB control numpad enter. Whoa! Well, okay, well, we're driving without safety systems. Um, everything's reset, so. Power! Okay, break off. Yep. It's balked. Breaks off. Away we go. Emily to space. That would help. So we've got the 120 in, in this section. Which is that speed post there. Negative, it's that speed post there. That speed's in there. Right, um... Mm, how do I do that? Get, the 110 limit can move very soon, so I'm just going to put it on that, basically. Um... Yeah, this, this train doesn't seem to be set up right. 
Tem inspeção no manual? Yep, so, got the 110 sign here. 110, Bosch, no. Nope. Train. Making me look bad. I should, I should do 105, it's fine. Three is my current speed. As soon as I see a, another big diamond with a 30, that's when I'm going to drop 30 in. Um, and we just creep into the station at 30 at Strasbourg and then stop down the end. Yeah, I'm leaving the C for end. That just gives us the DSD alerter. But you can see there's no PZB magnet, so there's no point having PZB on. the border and I just, I, again this might just be me but the, the buildings feel different and yeah I'm not sure if I like how different it feels because that stadium in the background that's the bloody Edinburgh stadium hang on it's either the Edinburgh one no this could be the one actually so the blue seats I don't recognize these I'll check the, the Edinburgh one next time I'm on the route hmm Yeah, I'd love to understand how this safety system works. That looks squiggly and cool. So we've got around three kilometres to go now. You can see we've basically crossed over the river Kell and then uh, passing through Strasbourg Nurendorf, which is a car siding for passenger trains. Unfortunately, we don't have any commuter, like S1 style French stock in the game yet. That's going to be probably my next wish for France, is some S Bahn stuff. Fast, you know, Fast and Furious is great, but the, the, the crappy old S Bahn is that they have in France. They look weird and cool, basically. But it's very interesting that, like, that you get, you know, Strasbourg itself is a really interesting city because you've got the likes of Newdorf, you know, sorry, for example, a, a section of the city is called Newdorf, N-E-U-D-O-R-F, looks incredibly French, but then to north is Forêt Noir, which is incredibly, um, you know, incredibly French, and it's, it, as I say, I don't pretend to understand the history fully, but it's just very interesting. So the 30 limit can come into force for a little while down here, actually. At least according to the map. Yeah, we're up in the top, the top corner, the top right corner of France, which you know the burn. I'm going to do Mannheim Karlsruhe as a future video, but I just, I, I need to be able to be bothered, basically. Um, and at the moment, I can't. So, suck it. I can also head down and do burn. Or Basel. Basel Freiburg. And uh, we just creep, creep it in at this point, basically. You can see as well, this decelerations, not doing too hot because, um, gonna, you know, the it's the slower you get, the worse the independent brakes are. Sorry, the worse the dynamics are. So, um, welcome to Strasbourg. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, there we go. I feel like I could have needed a little bit of speeding at the end there, but oh well, that's what you guys come here for. I've heard it. You know, I'm Ryanair, PTG is British Airways. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up, German man. I'm in France now. You can't hurt me here. Oh God, I'm, I'm, I, yeah.
airfield turn itself off. So I said it to decelerate us back at the trains and the station. So I'm just going to stop under the cover of the engine shed. Basically, emergency to you. Which is incredibly awkward to, to work with. There we go. Welcome to Strasbourg, folks. 10.28 was our due time. What time is it now? Ah, two minutes late. Oh, well. Oh, dear. How sad. Never mind. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully, you did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to like the video. Comment uh, with any suggestions for future content. And don't forget to subscribe to see more from me. On a regular basis, I'm getting the, I'm knocking these weekly videos out of the park. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye for now. Très bien, un voyage formidable. A French colleague will now take over for the remainder of the trip to Paris. Happy days. See you guys later.